everyone, so we're all pretty much upset about the fact that Samsung did not include the air gestures on the Galaxy S4 Mini which the Galaxy S4 has due to marketing reasons. And if you're looking for a way to get these air gestures or at least to simulate them on your Galaxy S4 Mini, this video will show you how to. Now in this video we're going to be using an application called Hovering Controls. This was developed by a person named Forging from Mexi Developers Forums. I remember testing this app on a low-end device a while ago and it seemed to get the job done. Now basically what this application does is it uses your proximity sensor so now you won't only be using the proximity sensor for basic things such as making the phone screen shut off while making a call but you can actually use it for a lot more things now there are two variants of this application you can either download the apk from the official xda post or you can purchase the app from the play store either way once you have downloaded and installed the application you, you need to then open up and it will ask you for to activate admin options so basically choose yes and do not worry, this will not, uh, this will not collect any personal data, it will not charge you any money and so on. Just activate it as a device administrator like this. And once you have done that, the next thing which you need to do is you need to start the service. Now I'm not really gonna go into detail about all of the features which this application offers, I'm just gonna show you some quick demonstrations, the rest you can explore for yourself. Now let's begin with hover hold. If you turn this on, you can actually set it to open up an application. So for example, if I hold my hand over the proximity sensor for a few seconds, it will open an application from my choice. So I have just made that. Now if I put my hand like this, you can see how it, open up, it opens up the Gmail application. The next options are for sliding. Once again, you can set a target application here. I have already set one, as you can see, it says Gmail. You just need to turn it on like this. And from here, from this button here, you can set which application you want. Anyways, let me do a test now. And there we go. As you can see, it works just fine. So these are just the basic uh, tricks which you can use. There are actually a lot more things if you get into options and then go to settings. Now you have some configurations, some settings here, but actually if you go down, you have lots more gestures which you can use here. You have for music and video controls, for walk screen, a quick glance, the same as on the Galaxy S4. You also have phone call options. So let's take a look at music and video controls. As you can see, these are the current uh, settings here which you have. I cannot really go into detail, like I said, quickly check them out. Next we have the walk screen. So I'm just gonna show you this because I'm pretty sure a lot of people want this feature. Now let us open this up and let us enable it like this I'm gonna enable show screen info and then show quick glance and now as you can see as it says here when you wave once with your hand on the sensor it will open up the quick glance screen such as on the galaxy s4 so let me just uh power off uh, shut off the screen like this and now i'm gonna wave once And as you can see, it displays if you have any missed calls, your battery state, if you have any messages, if you have Wi-Fi turned on, and your state of the sound settings. You can also unlock your phone with two slides if you want. You can walk the screen by holding with your uh, hand over the sensor like this. So yeah, as you can see, all of these function just fine. If you actually want to unlock your phone by sliding two times, I would highly recommend that you turn off the glance because it's kind of, uh, it kind of, takes its place and you know it it might not work every time so let's do a test the screen is locked and this is how you unlock your screen at the bottom here we have some root options and as you can see camera auto shoot browser navigation and so on so let's do a quick test on this actually for the browser sliding i'm gonna enable this and i'm gonna open up the browser now i'm gonna visit the web page and we're gonna see how it goes so here I am at a website, it actually seems to work, but not as perfect as you would expect. It doesn't really react that fast, but as you can see it still slides when you uh, swipe with your hand. And actually when you swipe up, it still keeps going down, which is kind of weird. But yeah, as you can see, it still manages to work at least. And that is everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so as there will be more helpful videos like this in the future. Also, I would highly recommend to check out this other channel that I have. I do app reviews. I comment on things. I show you uh, various tips and tricks on stuff. So yeah, you can check it out if you like. Once again, thank you for watching everyone and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.